and today we're talking all about Pinterest hacks. Today we're gonna hack you up. That's weird. Don't hack no. people up. <laughs> We have some really intense hacks that we're gonna put to the test. How are you feeling? You know what? They're good now. Okay, it looks like you've been eating a popsicle. That's my lipstick. <laughs> no. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy hacks as much as we do and if you're excited yes. to see what's gonna happen. Yep, and make sure you subscribe. You can click this button right here so that you can check out more of these hack videos. If you guys like it, we're gonna do more. I enjoy hacks. I enjoy experiments. Yes. They're fun. It's like makeup and science on my face. Are you ready to hack their faces I'm off? I'm ready, yes. I can't wait to share these with you guys. So the first hack we are tackling is the hashtag eyeliner hack. Hashtag eyeliner. Hashtag really actually putting a hashtag on. Okay, and I feel like this is kind of a cheat slightly because these are shadow sticks, but... But this one's really dark. It is really dark. Can we do it? Sure, which one should I do? The darker one. Oh yeah, the gold. It's not really gonna do much. Okay, let's see. Mirrors. So you want to put the hashtag in the outer corner of your eye. Do you? That's what Pinterest says. So like this. My hashtag skills are hashtag terrible. Yeah? Oh, yours is a big hashtag. Do you just blend it? I think so. With your finger, because we're lazy girls without tools. But I had to blend it so hard that like... It's basically like using an eyeliner. Gone. I think if you're in your car and you're like, oh man, I forgot eyeshadow, but thankfully I've got an extra eyeliner rolling around in the bottom of my purse. Let's make something happen. Unless you let it sit too long and then it won't blend. It's getting there. I'm gonna have a red eye, but... This just became Fix My Disaster. <laughs> so it's kind of a fail. It's kind of a fail. This has turned into just putting eyeshadow on her face. Well, I think I salvaged it at least. Yeah. But I would kind of call it a little bit of a fail. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Eyeliner. I'm, I'm okay at, at winged liner, but after I've had like two or three cups of coffee, like I need something <laughs> to <laughs> guide me. I didn't know you were going with coffee. So my struggle is getting my wings symmetrical to my eyes. So let's okay. see. I'm going for the business card eyeliner hack. Apparently you can use a spoon. We'll see how this goes. We're just gonna have to like bend and snap. <laughs> Do you take your bottom lash line? You match it to your eyebrow. Eyebrow like that? Yeah. Wow, that seems like really intense. Get it. I'm excited to try this. Okay, here we go. I don't know if I'm doing this right or not. Cause I can see it from a different angle. Can I? Uh, yeah, mm, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. Oh, it's on there. Okay, that looks really high. Is that really high? Is mine weird? No, actually. Now here's the issue. It will be symmetrical if my eyebrows end in the same place. Oh, mm, that one, that one's not right. <laughs> <laughs> no, that one's like really high. That one's going straight up. That one's Paul Abdul. <laughs> okay. All right. Straight up. Now tell me, are you really gonna leave those like that? <laughs> the other one I'm terrified of the other side this is my real life struggle but then when I close my eye like when my eyes close relax it. it's not as like it's not as bad but it is slightly like this shut up that's what happens every time <sighs> okay let's try it I'm gonna try the business card uh -huh. the I don't want the spoon I want to try the business card I don't want card. the spoon I want to try the business card I don't want the spoon mm. and I still don't like it oh my gosh we're going at a, at a, a less of an angle is it better not bad I think you handle the spoon well. All right, what I will say is that it's good to get an initial line angle, maybe. Slash if you just cannot get a straight line when you're doing your liquid liner. It's a good way to start out if you're afraid of it and to give you practice. Yours ended up very nicely. Thank you. Mine ended up very rough. So what do you think of my wings? Uh, yours aren't bad, mine are kind of bad. They're not my best. Yeah. I've seen better liner days. I feel pretty good about mine, except for this side over here just went Woo high. Woo high. <laughs> I think it's a hack. I think it's half hack. This is a hack that I'm really excited about because slash kind of nervous about because I'm like, do you really want a revival of mascara? Because by the time it gets dried up, like, isn't it kind of like 
tossing its tongue. Here's what we'll say. Maybe you're like, oh crap, I didn't realize that my mascara is on its last leg. I need it One more application. now, right? Because, you know, I've got a hot date and I can't show up without mascara on. What kind of first impression is that? Not a good first impression. So you can either put it in hot water or put some visine in it. And we're gonna try both. We're gonna try both. Which one do you really wanna try? I think I'm gonna use the visine since it's my visine. Okay. Only uh, because I'm afraid that I've like tainted it. Tainted it. All right, hot water is not hot. Put it in and microwave it. I can see the bottom of the tube. Food's ready. Our hot water is hot and watery. Okay, mascara is in the... How long does it have to stay in the hot water? I don't know. All right, mascara. How much rising should I put in here? Just do a few drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, done. Done, 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 done! You're gonna be putting, you're gonna At be- At least my eyes won't be red when I poke myself with the mascara wand. All right, mine is mad ready. You think it's gonna work? Listen. Oh, it's juicy. <laughs> okay. Two words that should not go together, juicy mascara. <laughs> okay. <Is it> okay? <gasps> what? <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. Okay. I should put on your eyes. All right. I still think this is gonna be like, this has hardly any product in here. See, yours is good. Yours won't be watered down at all. But if I, if mine had had more product, it would have been even better. Yeah. So, okay, we're gonna try a coat of this bad boy. Oh yeah. It's like normal mascara. Holy Toledo. All right. I can get down with this. Yeah. But That's, you know what? What? Seeing that the hot water works, forget the Visine. Yeah. That hack? Is a hack. Is a hack. It is not whack. Next hack is another mascara hack, and that is doing a DIY falsies look. I've never Pretty tried powder. the like powdering your lashes, but I know some people, they swear by putting like translucent powder, <gasps> press powder, whatever. So can I open some more? Okay, we're gonna use Q-tips to kind of like sprinkle it on our lashes, and then we're gonna hit it with another coat of mascara. All right, okay. Do you need anything else other than the baby powder? I think you just need this after you put mascara on. Oh, I'm gonna like go over that. Oh. Oh no. Oh, I just got it on my lid. It's definitely messy. Okay, definitely have white powdery substance all over my workspace. Wiped it all on your lid. Mascara. Whoa. That lash over there is crazy. Okay, I kind of I kind of think that this is legit. I think it thickens up your lashes more than adds like a length. To it. Yeah, but I think that's, I think. That's the idea. Yeah, I think that's the idea is to give it a fuller. Yeah, I'm pretty okay with that. I'm gonna say it's a hack. I think it's a hack. So we have two lip color options that we're gonna do. The first one is using Kool-Aid. And it's just rubbing it on your lips and using it as, like you know the kids that you see that have like the Kool-Aid mustaches? Yeah. Just transfer that down onto your lips, right? I think what I'm gonna try is getting a wet Q-tip and dipping it in the pouch and then rubbing it. Yeah. You're going for great? Yeah, you choose. I did wanna do purple. Do you both do purple? Okay, you can do purple. I'll do one of these for fun, the fun colors over here. So I. But like, I always wanna eat Kool-Aid and I forget that like, it smells it's good, sweet. but it's uh -uh. not sweet. Do you know what we did when I was in- You'd like, mix sugar in the packets? We would mix sugar into Kool-Aid and put it in a baggie and take it to school. Ew. It's just like fun dip. All right, now we're gonna dip it in the- Oh gosh. Now I can't- Oh, this is gonna be black. <laughs> you wanna use we this one? We got great. No, I wanna use this one. Okay, actually that could be cool. Okay, so this is my- This is really dark too. <laughs> Looks kind of gross, I'm not gonna lie. Thing. Oh, oh wow. Uh, it's, it's tickling. It's sour! Uh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, gross! <laughs> oh, it's on my teeth! Oh, it's on my teeth! <laughs> oh, God. But I look like I'm a vampire. Ow! Are Ow! Are on fire. Ugh. 
Oh, it hurts real bad. It hurts real bad. All right, that I gotta go get a wipe. I gotta get a wipe. I gotta get They're a wipe. in the box right <gasps> over there. <gasps> it hurts really bad. It hurts really bad. Uh -huh. Like, don't ever do it. I'm just straight up irritated my lips. It looks like you're bleeding. I know. <laughs> you're like saying you can't get yours off. Look at mine. All right, hack or whack? It's whack. It's really, really whack. It, it worked. It's a hack, but the cost that you have to pay. Um, no, I price? don't. I'm not. I'm not advising anybody no. to do this. No. Don't do it. Let's do some more stuff to our lips. <laughs> yeah. This shouldn't hurt. I'll go for like a hot pink, just because. Well, I mean, I feel like I need to go for a crazy one because. You have hot pink lipstick. Okay. So let's go for the, I think I did purple already. Let's go for like a green. Um, All right, so we're taking like loose pigments and you can mix it with Vaseline and make like your own custom lip color. I don't know if mine's gonna cover. Mm -hmm. Let's find out. So we're using some petroleum jelly. We went for like the squeezy tube because we figured that would be easier and I don't like touching things. So just a dab will do. My lips don't hurt nearly as bad as they did. I'm using this like teal color. You will see. Mine's like a purpley. Oh. So I think that's good for me. Hopefully that'll cover my whole lips. It'd be better if we had a lip brush, but we couldn't find one, so. We're going the Q-tip route. Oh. Wow. It's more of a lip gloss than a. Yeah. Than an actual like color color. Maybe if we'd put more in there. My lips are blue. Not my finest looking jaw, but you know. Halfway hack. It worked. It worked, but I think like we've literally done this with lip gloss before and it worked a, a lot, lot better. better. Okay, so what we've learned about hacks is not all of them are hacks. Some of them are wacks. Those are all the hacks we're testing today, but if you guys enjoyed this and want to see us test more Pinterest hacks, give it a thumbs up and comment down below what hacks you want us to test. Yes. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so that you don't miss any of our videos. Yep, and check them out over there. There's also some over there. You may have missed them. And we're gonna talk to you guys in another video. Super soon. We sure? Bye guys. Bye guys.